and welcome. Today, guys, I'm going to be making for you seafood paella. And this has been a requested recipe for quite some time, and I wanted to go ahead and do it for you guys. So I'm using fresh seafood. If it says you live in an area that you can find fresh seafood, then you can use the prepackaged frozen one. So the other ingredients you'll need, you'll need some clam or some lobster broth. And if you don't have that, you can use a low sodium vegetable broth. Or you can melt one vegetable bouillon cube in some hot water. You'll need some oil. And I have here my paella rice and I'm using a pack of paella Valencia. It's a Valencia rice. If you can't find Valencia rice, you can use arboro rice, which you use to make risotto. Or you can just use brown rice, guys. I know in Trinidad it's going to be difficult. So just use brown rice. Now this rice has seasonings already in it. A lot of, I would say, it seems like it has like a uh, all purpose seasoning together with a few spices in there. So if you can't find this rice and you're using brown rice, you're going to be using one to two teaspoons of this to flavor your rice. I have some lime wedges. You can use lemon, some chopped parsley, peas, tomatoes, green seasoning. Green seasoning is not traditional to this recipe, so you can omit it. You'll need some paprika, chopped garlic, some chorizo, and if you can't find chorizo in Trinidad, guys, just try using a Cajun sausage, or you can leave this out if you like. Here I have chopped onions, some saffron treads, and if you can't find this, guys, don't worry about it. It will still taste great. And I have some chopped hot peppers here without the seeds. I'm just going to set the seafood aside and I didn't mention but I have baby squid, the tentacles and the body and it's already cleaned and cut up for me, cleaned and deveined the shrimp, mussels, clams and scallops. So you're going to start by putting up a big skillet or a big frying pan or if you have a paella pan but you want something that's large and wide. To your pan add in some oil and let that heat up. When the oil starts to heat up, add in your chorizo. And if you live in Trinidad, as I said, and you can't find chorizo, then just add some chicken or add some sausage, some Cajun sausage, if you can find that. I'm gonna let this render out in here and let it get crispy. Okay, after your chorizo has rendered out in there and it's nice and crispy, you can go ahead and add in your chicken breast or thighs if you are adding chicken to this recipe at this point. Let it brown and then you would move on to the next step. Now I'm going to add in some onions and some garlic. Mix that in. Add in the hot peppers. Now you're going to add in your saffron shreds. And if you guys didn't know, saffron is the most expensive spice in the world. Mix that in. It's going to give this um, dish a really unique taste and flavor. I'm going to add in the paprika. Now you just want to mix this in and let it toast in here slightly, just for a couple of seconds. Once these um, are fragrant and nice, you're going to add in your rice. Now remember, my rice mixture already has seasonings in it. So if you're using brown rice, plain brown rice, you're going to add that adobo all-purpose seasoning or any type of all-purpose seasoning you can to this. You'd want to add about one to two te teaspoons depending on how much salt you put in your diet. Now you're going to mix this rice in and you're going to let this rice toast in here for a couple of minutes. Once your rice has been toasting for a couple of minutes, you're going to go ahead and add in your chan stock, lobster stock or vegetable stock. Now at this point, you'd want to drop your heat to about low or medium low. I'm going to add in the green seasoning and mix that in. And it's not much, so it's not going to really affect the taste too much of this dish. But it's just to give it a little Caribbean kick or a little Caribbean flavor. Now I'm going to add in the tomatoes. And just mix this in. Next, add all of your seafood.
I'm going to nestle it in an even layer. Next, you're going to cover this and allow it to cook until those rice grains in there are tender and your seafood is cooked. I'm just going to go in and check on it. It's been about five minutes. And that seafood look like it's cooking really quickly. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to fish out the the mussels and the clams whatever is opened and the reason why I prefer putting it now rather than when the dish is finished cooking is because it's going to impart a lot of flavor into the paella but if you think this is a hassle to take it out then by all means you can put this in five minutes before your paella is finished I'm just going to go in and check on the grain of the rice to see how tender it is at this point. Mm. It's halfway there. I'm going to cover this and allow it to continue to cook. As that liquid is drying up in there, what's going to happen is it's going to start to create a crust on the bottom of the rice. I'm just going to go in and give this a turn. Now I want to tell you guys, if you're using parboiled rice for this and you can't find the Valencia rice or paella rice, you would want to add your seafood when your rice is cooked because that rice is going to take longer than this rice. Just make sure when you mix it, you just put it back into that even layer. The rice is almost ready. What I'm going to do is remove the cover. I'm cranking that heat up to medium high because I want that nice crust to form on the rice. I'm just going to turn it and I don't know if you all can see but there's a nice crust on the bottom of this rice. I'm just going to turn that and I'm going to leave it to cook for about two more minutes. Okay, now that it's creating that crust, I'm going to add in some peas and some chopped parsley and I'm going to mix that in. Now I'm going to take this off the heat and I'm going to return the seafood to the paella and this is finished. If you were adding the raw seafood, I would have left a cue when to add that in. Now this is ready to be served and all you have to do is serve it with your lime wedges on top of your rice. So here you have it, my recipe for seafood paella. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. I tried to simplify it as best as I could and I tried to also give you guys in Trinidad tips for those of you who can't get this rice. So if you make this, let me know down below if you like it. Thank you all for watching. If you're new to my channel, I hope you like what you see and you subscribe. And I will see you all another day with another one of my recipes. Enjoy!